I'd like to begin by acknowledging the Ngunnawal and Ngambri peoples, the traditional custodians on the land on which this gallery stands. I'd like to pay my respects to the elders of the Ngunnawal and Ngambri nations, both past and present. I welcome here today Mrs Marilyn Darling AC, founding patron and member of the Foundation of the National Portrait Gallery. There seems to me to be no doubt that the National Portrait Gallery of Australia should be the home of an annual prize for painted portraits, just as it is for photographic portraits. And the winner is Anthea de Silva with her portrait of Dr. Elizabeth Cameron Dalman. Well, I'm going to talk on the judge's behalf um, because I think feedback is always important. Um, what we loved about this work was the sort of mild chaos in it. Um, it's got a seemingly unfinished nature. It's evident that we have a senior figure who is full of energy and has more to do in her life as, as a professional dancer. And there is joy and happiness and a sense of accomplishment in her face. I noticed on the artist's website, Anthea's website, a detail of the face. And I find it quite intriguing and see many years of experience and physical endurance, a life of achievement that is evident in the gaze. If it's okay, I'll use your words, your statement. Elizabeth Cameron Dolman, OAM, has a PhD and has been described as the high priestess of Australian contemporary dance. And Anthea says she's inspired by her constant reinvention as dancer, choreographer, actor, director, an environmental activist. And here is Elizabeth momentarily resting her feet at Miramu Creative Arts Centre near Bungador, preparing for her next adventure. So Anthea, for me, has respectfully captured the essence of her subject, Elizabeth, a person who has lived her life with commitment and love of her profession and the institution of performance. She takes a deep breath now and has a rest in the portrait as we admire her history and her professionalism and love of dance. The judges congratulate Anthea for successfully capturing one moment from a big life and a highly successful one at that. And Anthea has a passion for drawing, which is evident in this painting, and portraiture is central to her work. The bleeding within the work is deliberate, and to us, it emphasised the fragility of human nature. There is an inner fascination operating within this work. So often portraiture lacks breath and movement but as we concentrate on her face, we somehow connect to the sitter. The work is honest and unapologetic. Its unfinished quality is engaging and whimsical. On behalf of the judges, I congratulate the artist and the sitter, Anthea and Elizabeth, and I thank Marilyn Darling for enabling this moment in honour of Gordon Darling. Their shared vision has come to fruition. Not only do we have a globally significant portrait gallery, we have a prize that will recognise artists and highlight our unique Australian identity. We're very excited to be here with the winner of the inaugural Darling Portrait Prize, Anthea De Silva. Congratulations on your win. Thank you so much. I was just wondering if perhaps you might be able to introduce your gorgeous subject here to us. With pleasure. This is um, Elizabeth Cameron Dalman. <laughs> OAM, PhD, <laughs> OMG. <laughs> <laughs> and can you tell us a little bit about how you met and how the portrait came to, came to be? Uh, yes, okay, Por yes. So I've known Elizabeth for a number of years oh. now and um, I just keep being inspired by Elizabeth's ac activity. She's just off on other adventures constantly so I was really fortunate um, to get serious about a sitting or, or several this year, last year, and um, yes, but our, I've known Elizabeth for, oh. for many years. Yes, more than 20, I think. More than 20. Yes. Oh, we were so young <laughs> once, yes. But um, so, uh, but I've, I've really loved watching um, Elizabeth's um, career just going off in so many amazing tangents. I think two years ago you said you'd take up acting? Yes. Yes. Yeah. And um, you've toured internationally now with um, Swan Lake. Yes. And well, how do you pronounce that 
the, the, the Loch, Loch Na Ayala, which is the Irish name for Swan Lake. But it's with an Irish dance theatre company called Tiok Darsa. Um, and we created this work. Michael Keegan Dolan is the director. Uh, it was created in 2016. And we continually are touring the world still with this production. So I feel very lucky that, that I'm part of this group. Yes. And Elizabeth, your background is in dance. Can you tell us a little bit about your career? Um, well, yes, I think I've been dancing since I was born. Um, but I founded Australian Dance Theatre in 1965, um, was their director for 10 years. I'm very proud that the company still exists. 2015, we celebrated the 50th anniversary, um, and Gary Stewart is is now directing that. Um, then I was, I spent many years in Europe, but I came back to Australia in 1987 and then moved to Wirrawa, Lake George in 1989. So I've now been um, at Miramu Creative Arts Centre for 30 years, both as a freelance um, performer, choreographer, teacher, um, but also director of uh, Miramu Dance Company, um, as well as doing lots of other things as well. But I just, I just love being around artists and artists of all disciplines, and that's what drove me to set up Miramu Creative Arts Centre. And then I, the centre has drawn people like Anthea, <coughs> who first came to one of our Dance in Nature workshops. And um, I know that she has the same passion about our relationship to nature and how important we need to respect and take care of our environment. Um, and that she's managed to capture a little bit of that in this, in this painting, I think is fantastic. We were just commenting earlier, we saw you sitting on a bench over in the corner just having a little break from all of the lights and cameras and action and you were in exactly the same pose as you are in this portrait. So clearly this is a very natural uh, pose for you. Anthea, do you think you've uh, captured something of the essence of Elizabeth in this portrait? <laughs> oh, I hope so. I hope so. We did lots of um, other, we did lots of sittings, I think, and I think um, I love charcoal and I love the scumbly nature of oils too. So, but this is the most unlayered version, I think, of any of the studies that I did. Mm -hmm. And I'm just really glad that it's got that kind of fleeting look. You know, it's like a number of sketches because um, there's so much dynamism and action with you, Elizabeth. <laughs> Oh. Yes. And I wanted to get your feet in. I think most of the other studies I did was, were just shoulders and, and head oh. and, um, and your amazing hair. So yeah. this one, I, I wanted to incorporate those, those dancing feet. <laughs> dancing not, feet not and wild dancing. hair. And wild hair. <laughs> <laughs> I think, it, yeah, it's really yeah. interesting. I, I think about uh, 10 years ago, I was thinking of actually eventually cutting my hair. And... Um, and then with the, the Swan Lake, um, very particularly the director wanted a woman, a, sen a senior woman, w uh, if possible, with long white hair. And so I went, oh, there goes, I have to leave my hair. <laughs> <laughs> and now, yes, more recently too, I've been doing, um, working on a, a project called Crone about mm. the importance of the senior woman's voice in our society today. And for that, for that project, um, having my long hair was really important. And I, I dance with my hair as well as my feet and the rest of my body. <laughs> so, so my hair has become uh, a really important thing for me. Well, we're delighted that uh, Anthea could bring the senior voice to the walls of the Portrait Gallery today. So thank you so much and congratulations on your win and congratulations and thank you to both of you for being here today. Thank you, thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.